be making bases. What's up, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit those bell notifications so you know when I'm gonna post. Today's video content is going to be about how to make a sampled based J. Cole type beat. All right. Um, I pretty much have the beat already made, mixed, everything pretty much ready to go. And what I'm going to be doing is breaking down the different elements, certain plugins that I added, different things to you know help you along your process of making your own sample based J. Cole type beats. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, the first thing is you got to come up with a dope sample. There's a lot of places you can get samples online. You know, I, like I said, I just dropped a royalty free sample pack called the Blue Fire Sample Pack or Melody Pack. You can go to splice.com, get samples there. Cinematics.com has samples. Um, a lot of different places. You can also even go to Apple Loops and they have lots of different you know, stuff that you could use for samples royalty free. I'm gonna play this sample. Um, I actually got this from Splice and I, you know, kind of did some stuff with it, chopped it up and all that type of stuff, but let's check this out. This is a sample. So that's the sample that we're using for this beat. Has a good vibe. Um, but let's just talk about what you want to put on it to make it sound a little bit more sample based. Now you can use any type of plugin for this, but there's two type of plugins that I would recommend for this. One is called RC20. It uh, basically will give you that vinyl sound, that vinyl vibe. Okay, you could turn up the wobble or the warp sound on it. You could put some noise on it if you want. It has distortion, um, different things you could put on it. Now, I would kind of keep things simple on here. They also have some plug, uh, presets that you could use and things of that nature. Now, if you can't get your hands on the RC20, another plugin that you can use, and I believe it's free, is from Isotope. It's called Vinyl. Okay does the same thing overall okay it's basically gonna give you that record sound you can come in here and mess around with the knobs and sweeten it up like you want it okay so i did that um i also went and um i took a little of the lows out of it okay just because you know like say when you put the bass behind it and everything and the kick you don't want it to be too muddy all right so that's what we did for that that part of the sample and let's listen to it again All right, cool. Now, now that you have a sample, some other elements that you want to make sure that you have in that type of beat or sample based beats are real instruments. OK, real instrument sounds, things like pianos, bass, horns, flutes. OK, sample tapes, sampled bass beats are not full of synthesizers and things of that nature. It's all realistic instruments. So you want to go ahead and get a good blend of realistic sounding instruments to add on top of your sample. So I'll show you what I did. I have this piano sound here and this is what I put on. Okay, so we added the piano. I also added this uh, horn sound, okay? And this did a little quick horn chop. Now, as you can also kind of hear like stuff with the horn chops and stuff like that, it, it helps if you put a little bit of reverb. I use Vahalo Room exclusively for my reverb. I turned the reverb all the way down and just brought it up to my liking. Um, I also went ahead and took the lows out of that, a little, a little bit of the lows out of the horn as well. And um, same with the piano. I actually took slightly, just a little bit of the lows off of that. And I used a plugin right here called MV2. It's kind of like a compressor basically. And I used that to boost up that signal. All right, next we have um, this bass sound, okay? Let's check out the bass with it. You want the sample based beats to kind of ride a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This is not like a hype, 
you know, trap beat where, you know, they're in the club getting crunk and everything like that. These are sample based beats are beats where you can think you can speak some real stuff over. You know, what I mean, it's that's what sample based beats are all about. And on the bass, what I did for that is I actually didn't do a whole lot of EQ. I actually just went ahead and used the MV2 plug in to boost up that signal because it was coming in a little low. I also put um, this other plug in called R bass stands for Renaissance bass. Um, tweak that up a little bit and then I used the maximizer plug-in um, Basically just to make sure that it wasn't clipping or coming in too strong All right, so we got that for the hook of this beat. I put the, the flute sound in here I played this as you can see these are all um, wave files I bounced the beat down and everything and then brought it back in to mix it So that's why you just see wave files, but anyway, this is the flute sound This is what I added for like the hook So to bring that flute sound um, to where I felt like it needed to be, I took a lot of the lows out on that. And then I went over here and I added this other plugin right here, J37. Basically, it's kind of like this gives this tape effect to it. It's like a tube tape um, plugin. And it just kind of sweetened it up and made it sound a little bit more warm. And I just liked the way it felt on it. And of course, I came back to my go-to when it comes to uh, reverb used of a hollow room. Okay. Next, of course, we have our drums. And as you can see, I really only have one, two, and three different tracks, okay, for the drums. And really within these hi-hats, you know, I do have like an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat. So that's four if you want to count that. But um, let's bring in the hats. It's pretty simple, you know what I mean? You want to keep sample bass beats simple. You know what I mean? And then I brought in this snare. And then from there, you know, pretty much with the snare, I do need to go ahead and take a little of the lows out on that just to make that clear. Put that right there. Let's listen. And I'll switch that with this, just for the plug-in. Um, but yeah, I'll use this smack attack on the snare. I pretty much just threw the plug-in on and I pushed this attack up a little bit and threw this sustain, uh, lowered the sustain a little bit. That's all I did for the snare. And then for the kick, um, I went ahead and this is what the kick sounds like. So the kick had a lot of good lows in it, so I didn't really EQ any of the lows out or anything like that. I did add the smack attack on it and then went ahead and used the maximizer and pushed the threshold down some and made sure that the, the ceiling was at uh, negative one, uh, negative 1.0. And just basically making sure it's not gonna be overly clipping or anything like that, but push that threshold down so it, it punches real hard and it's really in your face. So um, I'll just let you listen to this loop all the way through, and that's pretty much how I made this sample tape, uh, sample bass beat. y'all if y'all want to listen to that beat in its full entirety please go to my website ukiahbeats.com it will actually be in the link below but yo thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up on it and make sure you subscribe if you're new okay i'll see you in the next videos to come